What's good, world? It's your boy Sonny Dizzle. I'm back again, giving y'all month 22 full sale online music production bachelor's degree. And this much you got advanced music composition programming. You already had uh, music composition programming before, where you learn about doing grooves, bass line, and ear candy, all that stuff. Uh, you take it a step further. You got some real technical stuff in here. Um, like the last two videos, say it again in this one, um, they have rearranged the whole bachelor's degree program for music production. They probably done it in some other class uh, programs too, but this one right here is classes ain't in order. That's the only way I can put it. That they took the outline down, so I can't give y'all outline. I can just tell y'all about the class. So, so week one. You got discussion boards. Make sure you download the videos and go to classes and all that stuff. It's a bunch of resources in these past two, three classes that you don't really need after school. So, week one, you got discussion board. Discussion boards in this class is real simple. You don't have to turn nothing in by Wednesday, then reply to two people. Just reply, do your posts out for the um, information in the class for that week. Like they got a link you click, it got information, reading videos, you pick two or three of those topics, you write about them, bam. Love those discussion boards, man. I hate discussion boards, but I do those, though. You're going to be learning about modal interchange. You're going to make sure your logic and your musician is set up because you're going to be doing um, quizzes and musician. You got two harmony quizzes for the month, and you got two rhythm tapping quizzes. I hate rhythm tapping quizzes, man. I struggle with them. For me to do my drums and stuff the way I do, you wouldn't think I had a problem. I'll get to why it was hard in a minute. Week one, you're gonna be learning about triplets, and then you're gonna get into your project. Yeah, you're gonna be working in Logic this month and producing everything out of Logic. So you're gonna learn about using the chord trigger, the arpeggiator, and um, some other stuff in week one. You're gonna be doing your groove when you're producing your groove in the uh, week one project you're going to have to make your snares hit on the one it kicks off the back beat and all that stuff doing back beat beats really pretty much uh, it's pretty cool what you can do with the ar arpeggiator and the uh, chord trigger at the same time they're going to show you how to route it and make, sh make it work together and stuff it's cool man super dope I've been using it on some stuff lately so that's pretty much that in week one. It's real simple, e uh, easy A. All you gotta do is follow the instructions. Now week two, you're gonna be touching back up on compound meter, which you should already know how to count in the compound meter because you're gonna need that for the week four rhythm tapping. It's, it's completely, man, completely different. It's a new meter you're gonna be learning in week four, so make sure you brush up on compound meter, man. Um, if you can't count on it, go to a musician, practice. That's what it's there for. Uh, you're going to be learning about key relationships and modulation, where you're going to be borrowing chords from five chord from a five chord or three chord from a five chord or like that. That's what the modulation and all that stuff is. And borrowing from other uh, key signatures and stuff, scales and all that stuff. And it's pretty cool, man. Um, You'll definitely have to get into that. And non-diatonic chords, you're going to have to brush up on that too. Then you got that uh, rhythm tapping test on compound meter, which ain't too bad, but I hate it. I hate rhythm tapping for some reason. All right, so project two. The first thing you got to do, if you ain't up on your music theory skills to where you can write chords and key signatures and stuff down and how to do chord progressions, you're going to struggle. That's why I said music theory, you, all of them, you got to pay attention to those, man. Because you on week two project, he going to have the Roman numeral numbers up on the staff, and you got to figure out how to write them, and you got to do voice leading the right way and stuff like you did in um, advanced music theory and all that stuff. You're going to actually borrow chords from another chord, and you got to figure out, you got to write the music out pretty much on the staff. You're not using Sibelius, but you're going to be using paper at home pretty much and trying to figure it out 
you gotta make sure the smooth voice leading is in effect and all that stuff and then you're gonna be working on the drums in a 6-8 uh, compound meter and all that stuff so that might be different from y'all for y'all but my class was 6-8 so just learn how to count in that compound meter man it's, it's important man learn how to count it and one of the biggest things in week two is you're gonna be learning how to side chain if you don't know how already you're gonna learn how to do the uh way most people know what side chaining is is when the kick and bass working together and stuff then you're gonna learn about key gate and side chain to where you can make the noise gate work with the drums too to create like a rhythm of the drums and stuff with the sound and just make it crazy man it's, it's dope y'all like that um i did and that's week two week three you're going to be you got a quiz harmony quiz you'll be learning about chord extensions to where you'll be doing like a major seventh chord at a ninth or eleventh or thirteenth or sus four it sound complicated probably is if you ain't been paying attention but it's easy man um, it, it gives a it adds flavor to your chords and your melodies and all that stuff so now this is where we get into why I say you need to learn or brush up on your um, compound meters because you got composite meters and this is where you got meters going on five like five eighths or seven eight and it, it can throw you off man it really can if you not good at counting on beat and stuff so now y'all looking at me like yep yeah, that's he can't count to five or seven no i can do that just fine like i said i got an a plus in this class so uh it's just complicated when you so used to counting one two three four one two they count that way or count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like now you got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven, really? It's just odd. So that's what they call it, odd meter. Something like that. Yeah. You you gonna get frustrated with the rhythm tapping test. I promise you on week four, you're gonna get frustrated. I took it. You got up to 99 tries to take the test. If you a music person already that that's good with music theory and all this tapping and stuff, I congratulate you. I give you a hand. I, I, you my dog. You're also going to be touching up on the bass line, uh, the way it worked with the kick and all that stuff. You're going to have to get used to that because the Project 3, you're going to be doing um, bass line to match the already complicated I meter so and the kick man man that's all I can say you're gonna be doing the first half of project three is gonna be like a five eight meter and then it's gonna transition to a six eight meter and they're gonna show you how to set that up or oh, he already has a template you just download it and you work out the template but his first part is five eight meter second part six eight meter he got the chords up there already for you to play or put on a through the MIDI and do all that stuff. Like it'll be uh, A minor, add nine or something like that. You got to play that and put that on there and then add the groove and all that stuff. And pretty much building the beat, man. Like I said, it's complicated, real technical class. That's pretty much it for project three. Now project four. It's where you have your final project. You're going to do like a two or three minute track. And you got a choice of either doing I meter or you could do a 4-4 four, four meter. But if you do 4-4 four, four meter, you got to do the backbeat groove to where the snare go first and then the kick and make it work like that. Uh, you'll be doing melody and counter melodies again. Uh, you gonna get some real good tips on mixing and automation. I suggest you download those PDF files and look over them and stuff. You're gonna be getting back to doing your color grouping and all that stuff and being real organized with the track and naming everything and putting project notes in and stuff. It's real important, man. 
the main main thing about the Project Four is you can't loop nothing. You can, really can't loop anything in any class that I've been in full cell for real. <laughs> I don't even think to loop anything. You have to play that whole like if you're doing a chord section and you want the chord section to be eight bars, you have to play those old eight bars. You can't loop nothing. You can't use Apple loops, uh, none of that stuff. So that's pretty much my big advice to you. Don't loop nothing. That's pretty much it, man, for this class. Uh, right now I'm in uh, music production for media, and it's one of the classes I wanted to take. Uh, you got, well, you'll be doing a whole thing on producing for TV, uh, commercials and jingles and stuff like that. But I get into that when I finish the class at the end of May. So hopefully I get to do the video at the end of May. It ain't got nothing else coming up. But uh, I'll let y'all know, man. Uh, this your boy Sonny, man. If y'all got any questions, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. Uh, get that Reach album or EP and iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Go check it out. Uh, hit me up, man. How's your boy?